It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Today is summer solstice, so happy summer solstice to all of you, the longest like, day of the whatever, year. Whatever that means. Is this the same as the equinox? No. No, it's the longest day of the year. This is the opposite of the equinox. The equinox, the days no. are day and nights equal, right? Not, right. Not right either. This is the solstice. This is the longest day. That's what it says. Don't we have to okay. sacrifice a virgin? Oh, my gosh. Oh, this feels like the longest break of my life. We're Jeez. all out. It's the longest day in the northern hemisphere, shortest in the southern hemisphere. Oh, well, good to know. You know, Australia's like backwards, man. Yeah, like upside that. down and everything. Christmas is summer. They walk on the mm. ceilings. Snakes or dogs? <laughs> yeah, it's not. The it's yesterday. Platypuses, uh, ducks have teeth. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> well, um, now let's see. Let's move on here. Uh, now, uh, we have some music coming up from Mr. Pat Godwin. Pat, recently uh, Why featured... not coming up? Why not now? <sighs> well, <sighs> I suppose we could continue our, our Beatles tribute, Pat. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so a oh, countdown to yeah. National Beatles Celebration Day is Saturday, right? Right, Global yeah. Beatles Day. Right. Global Beatles. Wasn't Paul's birthday Sunday? Yes, yes. Uh, but, he turned uh, 80? Is anyone car? else going to mention how amazingly dark Paul McCartney's hair is? It, it, <laughs> is anybody going to go, hey, let it go, Paul? Is anybody going to say that? He started to light it, lighten it up a little is bit. Is anybody going to say that? It's okay. Let him do whatever he wants. He's cool as heck. <sighs> Yeah, I think you got to keep your hair real, you know? Yeah. Well, oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Come on. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, yeah, but Pat, <laughs> thank you very much. Pat, Pat. why don't you Why don't you do like you know, Ronnie Wood of the Stones and just go that, or, or, or Jeff Beck and do that just <laughs> jet black, ink black, Elvis black instead of, what is the color that you currently use? Uh, medium ash brown by L'Oreal. 5, wasn't 5 there, A. Wasn't there a guy in here who obviously was wearing a long hair wig and yes. was really? like somebody famous? Yeah. Who was that? I can't remember. Well, there's a couple that I know of. There were. Yeah. Brett Michaels. <laughs> no, he's he wears, the, he no, wears a bandana and a hat. He's got, a, like, he's like, got a full it's head like, It's like having two passwords on your email. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case the hat falls off. Yeah, yeah, you got backup. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Oh. The guy from ZZ Top does that, too. Which one? Well, he has like a skull cap and then a, something else. On. One of them doesn't do anything. That's got to be hot. Well, you know, uh, where were we? Um, uh, oh, you want to do, so do you want to do a little Beatles tribute then? Sure, this is one my son wrote. <laughs> when I find myself in front of the TV, I'm usually watching Sesame Street. They're teaching words of wisdom and the letter B, the letter B. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yesterday it was letter A and tomorrow letter C. But today is dedicated to the letter B. <laughs> That is great. <laughs> Jimmy wrote that, I swear. That's nice. That's mm, great. We have uh, coming up, uh, we have a bizarre yes, we do, Sesame Street story. Mm -hmm. I saw that. Um, does it, let me, I'll do this Socratic method. I'll start with you, Ace. Do you remember the name of the actress that played the Wicked Witch of the West in the movie The Wizard of Oz? I do not. I saw this story, but... Uh, Jeffrey? Oh, no clue. Do you know the woman who played the the, the witch in the Wizard of Oz, Margaret Hamilton? Mm -hmm. She played also the uh, the uh, nasty school teacher who rode on the bike. Did you know that? <gasps> what? Oh my gosh! Yeah. You're kidding me. Yeah. The one that stole Toto. Yeah. It's the same, Wait a it's minute. The same Put woman. the Toto in the basket. Really? You're just figuring. And the scarecrow and the lion and the tin uh, man are uh, all. Uh, uh, Chick, they make it abundantly clear. They work she on says, the farm. You were there, and you were there, and you were there. Never, uh, never got it. <laughs> I'm with you, buddy. <laughs> never got it for a couple years. You didn't. You didn't pick up on that, did you? I didn't know that. I did. I had no idea until Chick found out. Oh, I found out on. the same day they that Chick did. There you go. At you. There you go. That's the whole movie. Yeah. Guys. And, the, uh, and the wizard is the guy selling uh, the, in the wagon. Uh, the traveling what? salesman. Yeah. I swear. Okay, spoiler oh, alert. We are fixing mm -hmm. to hook up with Bob Zaney uh, nice. to find out what's going on with Bob. I know he's got some shows coming up. Uh, and he's uh, going to be talking about his uh, uh, dry bar special. Yes. Uh, Bob, are you there on the phone? Yes, I am, Tom. So let's find out what's new. I know that you have your uh, so-called, uh, what is it, 4 million people have watched your Dry Bar comedy special. Is that right? Yeah, 4.170 million people, Tom, if you can believe that. Now, how many were the, of those were you? <laughs> 
Well, Tom, really, I don't think that's any of your business. <laughs> and how many times a day do you check the counter? <laughs> I do it every morning, Chick, okay? Uh, okay. I'm not that obsessive. That's uh -huh. fair. Uh, fair enough. I'd check it more than that if it were me. That's okay. great, man. And all these specials are clean, right? So the kids can watch it with, uh, with their folks. Yeah, I, I suggest, is that Jeff? No, this right. is Willie. Willie. Hey there, Bob. Willie Griswold. Will, oh, Willie, I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm I, just a little shocked that Tom didn't announce where you're going to be this weekend. During the <laughs> no, I, I announced uh, He's I, got it. Actually, Tom has it uh, right here where w Willie's going to be this yeah, weekend. Bob, yeah, I, I just announced it five minutes ago. Uh, Donnie Baker, Willie, and Jeff Oskey. <laughs> Donnie, by the way, without Joe Emirates. Uh, he fired him. Uh, they're going to be in Jonesboro, Arkansas this Saturday for a huge show. Eagle1005.com. Eagle1005.com. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, back to you. I just, I'm still trying to figure out how Willie got the job on the show. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, Bob. Let's keep this between Willie, us. Willie, there's there, nothing wrong with nepotism. Look at Jesus. His dad got him the job. <laughs> this point. Right. Can't argue with that. I'm yep. just hoping I don't have you nails in my hands. That. And I don't think anyone gets hurt on that one, Tom. Let's get right to it. Love going on in the news, you guys. Okay. According to a new study, 94% of Americans are concerned or upset with inflation. The other 6% are happy with their breast implants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. It's a switcheroo joke. <laughs> yeah, that's how I listed it on in the, count, the breakdown. Is He's not talking joke. about the economy. Under, under S for switcheroo. <laughs> Hey, in Boston, uh, in the downtown area, two manholes exploded. Ironically, it was in front of a popular Mexican restaurant. <laughs> Gas. <laughs> How would you label that one, Tom? Gas. Flatulence, really. Gas. Uh, yeah. Thank uh, you. Explosive methane. And, no, I'm not. not and since, since I'm calling you from Vegas, my new home, I, I, I would be remiss not to do a Vegas joke. Good news, bad news. Here's the bad news. An evening with Whitney, the Whitney Houston hologram show, is closing its run. Hmm. The good news is it will be replaced by the Janis Joplin Shadow Puppet Show. <laughs> and both tragically died. Because we're yeah, running out of I talent here and we have to. I don't know why, but I love what I thought. That's where I was going with that one. Hey, in the Ozarks, uh, a judge has ordered a deer poacher to repeatedly watch the movie Bambi as part of his sentence. So far, he's only shot at the TV three times. <laughs> <laughs> so far. Because he's a poacher. Yeah. 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 Right. poacher. Bambi doesn't uh -huh. That would be under things that are wrong, Tom. That's the category. <laughs> yes. Yes. God. Okay, we're going to do a little thing where we go back in time and revisit a past day and report joke. As you know, I've been doing this with, of course, you folks for over 20-something years, but also it goes back to KLOS in Los Angeles in the early 80s. So I perused the past jokes, Tom. This is okay. a time capsule if you're oh, if good. I I love so these. bold. Uh -huh. Now, just bear with me. We have to go back. <laughs> there we okay. are. You got yeah. Michael Winslow? Here we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're doing Police Academy 4. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it worked April 4th, 2017, Dayline, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The Palace Theater, which was damaged by Hurricane Matthew, is unfit for human occupancy. Now, they plan to demolish it or turn it into an artist colony. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dug that one up, did you? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Too that one. Too bad I didn't go further back. <laughs> <laughs> and that one was that was begging to be revived. Mm -mm. Let's try another one. Oh, wow. Try another one. No, that's it. There you have oh, it. Oh, that's it? That was our... <laughs> <laughs> well, that was that long time machine trip. I thought we'd have a couple. Um, uh, Bob Zaney is our guest. Once again, the new website, bobzaney.net. Let's get this right, kids. There's some weird secret thing going on with something else with the dot com. And I'm very excited that I'll be working with Joe Emmert uh, at the uh, Elks Lodge this weekend because uh, <laughs> it's very. He was once a pork pistol, I hear. Yes. Uh, yes. I was. I was trying to go with somebody who was part of Freddie and the Dreamers, but they weren't available. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think one of those guys does live around here somewhere. Well, thank you. Oh, th you. Thank you, Bob. How, so, Bob, do you like living in Las Vegas? I love it, Tom. Uh, you know, but yeah, I spent half my adult life on the road. Uh, Willie, you're going to learn this as you get older. The, <laughs> the road takes its toll. <laughs> and uh, But I love Vegas. I, have a, I can see the strip from my front porch and Sarah Palin. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. 
left. You see what I did there, Chick? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I got it. Yeah. yeah now, well, now we're now well, we're going how back. How would you label that one? Uh, <laughs> politi- political, <laughs> political <laughs> bent. Yeah, that one only goes back what way, twelve years? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Where <laughs> Where is Ace Cosby when you need him? He's right <laughs> here. <laughs> He's right here, and I think he might. Uh, do you want to Do you want to try Try your joke. You. Try your joke on Bob. Here show we go. you a thing or two, Bob. Who's that sexy man with a deep voice? Whichever one you want to do. Ace Cosby. His joke of the day. Hey, Bob, uh, what fruit uh, <laughs> likes to go down, go down slides? I can't. What fruit likes to go down slides? I don't know, Ace. A kiwi. That was a kiwi. Now, why can't you do heady stuff like that, Bob? Well, you know what, Ace? I think I can top you. Oh! Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Bob. Oh. Well, I, well, if an itchy baker, does he make everything from scratch? <laughs> I like that. I like that. If, you se- if you send an email to the Spam Corporation, where does it end up? Oh! <laughs> if a hypnotist talks in their sleep, is that considered an extra show? <laughs> well, these are all very good, Your Bob. turn, Ace. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're remaking uh, Snow White. Oh. Oh, they are. Six of the seven dwarves are not happy. That was a puppy <laughs> joke of the day. Happy is one of the dwarves. Not, not, not happy. Not the seven, happy. Very, very the seventh good. is happy. Like yeah, there you go. Very good. Yeah. Please, please tell me that Pat Godwin isn't writing those from an undisclosed location. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Bob. Uh, thank bl- you, guys. I appreciate it. And, of course, on the Twitter, at Bob Zane, I did tweet out the special with the at Bob and Tom on there. If you guys retweet that, that'd be great so the folks can check that out. And the Zane Report, I got 11 episodes at Dry Bar, too. You can see me behind a desk in front of a studio audience doing the jokes, and you can compare those jokes with these, where the, these, the ones on Dry Bar are getting laughs, so it's a great comparison. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, thanks, You Bob. guys are the best. Thanks for having me. Of course. Bye, bye, Bob. Let's see now. Where uh, is uh, uh, Christy? Oh, there she is. Hi, Christy. What? what have where, we is Christy? <laughs> where is Christy? I think she's Christy. saying that you're right. Is that you, Christy? Here I am. A police officer in the UK was fired after he touched his colleague's genitals and remarked on its apparent size. Is that wrong? That's right. According to Wales Online, police constable Adam Reed was dismissed from Wilshire Police following a misconduct hearing. Reed admitted that he pulled down a probationary officer's fly, <gasps> inserted his hand to make contact with Whoa. the man's penis, Whoa. and shouted, It's a small one! And he oh. got fired? In front of their colleagues at so a police station. So guys can't station. even be dudes anymore. Yeah. You can't even hang out and goof around with your pals anymore. Can't play grab ass anymore. What is this? We're not grabbing asses, we're uh, no. grabbing penis. I mean, this was... Uh, <laughs> That's true. But I mean, t- it wasn't like they were showering after a game no, or something. No, it was like, no. hey, look at this. The panel ruled Reed's behavior was gross m- misconduct. I agree. He was dismissed, barred from working as a police officer elsewhere in the UK. I mean, ironic that he's copying a feel and feeling a cop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you know what? If he would have yelled, it's big, do you think you would have got fired? Do you think it would have been a non-incident? Yeah, maybe yeah. so. Oh, no. Yeah, ego's involved. Yeah, there you go. I think uh, when he... Uh, gave, he unzipped gave, it. Gave, yeah. yeah, unzipped it and gave it the old handshake. Yeah, that's true. That's a little rough, I think. Um, yeah, no. Well, let's give the guy credit. He's probably a grower, not a shower. We don't know. Exactly. Not his... You don't know? <laughs> don't know. Poor guy. Hey, Ferrari, as announced. Hey, wait a minute. I was a busting balls just to having fun. I grabbed his crotch. It's a small one. <laughs> small one. I pulled down the zipper and grabbed his junk. The officer was stunned. It was the dumbest thing I've ever done. I fought the court and the court won. I fought the court and the court won. All right, you can go on now. All right, thank you. I love corgis. There's one in my neighborhood. So cute. Uh, You don't you call a group of them? What? A corgregation. (laughs) <laughs> wow that's a, that's a smile oh, 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 Ace Ace heckling you How you feel about that, huh? What's the count, Ace? Uh, all right, well, <laughs> Ace, if you insist Who's that sexy man with a deep voice? Ace Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day Why did the cowboy adopt a corgi? I don't wow. know, why? To get a long little doggy. That 
A long little dog. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Something else. Since man. I was out of town, I missed the big debut of Ace Cosby Live. How did it go? You killed it. Standing ovation, encore. Really? Just because you were standing doesn't mean it was an ovation. <laughs> <laughs> the show went very well. Thanks to everybody who came. We, That's awesome. I'm uh, going to be able to send a bunch of kids to summer camp because of uh, your indulgence. We certainly appreciate it. We're going to do it again next year. In fact, I think we're going to do two of them next year. We've been talking wow. about this nice. last couple of days. Doesn't, excuse me, doesn't Queen Elizabeth, isn't that her dog? She's a yep. corgi, corgi lover, yes. Okay, and the, the they're like it's isn't technically a Welsh corgi, isn't that the? There are geez. two different kinds, aren't there? A Welsh corgi and a. I know they're cute as button. I know that. Yeah. She hasn't seen those dogs a day in her life. Are yeah, you kidding oh, me? Oh, yes, she has. They I do follow, a social media uh, shoot, and then she's back to wherever her some I, castle. I follow a castle. I follow these two corgis online, Hammy and Hamilton and Olivia. <laughs> they're they're brother and sister, and what the owner gives them voices. It's very funny, and really? Olivia is this. Uh, She's uh, very posh, and she uh, on the tip of fashion, and she's kind of snooty, and and just tolerates her little brother. She just like he stinks and stuff. Anyway, they were watching the uh, Queen and the Jubilee, and uh, the corgis come out on the uh, on the balcony, and Olivia said, "I knew." was royalty <laughs> it's just adorable yeah i think actually those dogs are with the queen almost all the time from what oh, I, yeah. from what i have read they are mm -hmm. they're there more than well anybody more than yeah. philip uh, <laughs> well now especially yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. oh you think they put like strings on those long bones <laughs> hello bob and tom show hey bob and tom it's donnie baker hey donnie how are you I'm good. Hey, man, I keep hearing this Ace uh, Cosby joke of the day. Uh-huh. Well, first off, Ace, you know you can get your last name changed legally to like anything you want, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the last name Cosby used to open like a lot of doors for you. Whereas now, it probably just has people covering their drinks up right now. <laughs> I mean, you, you could change your last name to Bass and go as um, Ace of Bass. <laughs> I like that. Like your deep voice, it match up perfect, you know? I still don't believe that's your real voice. I don't know if it's even possible to fake voices, but if it is, my money's on you. You're faking it. <laughs> lots of people use fake voices. You hear Josh doing Hannibal Lecture all the time. <laughs> and like that dude, he's always talking about leaving the lights on at Motel 6. Um... Tom Bidet, fake. Fake? Really? Fake. Well, I swear to God, if, if that's your real voice, Ace, you must have to walk with a wheelbarrow. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah. Just like that dude from Oak Ridge Boys who does a boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba, ba, mow, mow. Okay. You know, Ace, you're, you're popular enough, you could probably just drop Crosby and just use your first name, like Madonna, um, Kesha, or... Uh, a prince. Oh, and, or that Donnie Marie kid, Haley Joe Osmond. He just goes by Haley Joe now. <laughs> and I live to see a sequel to The Sixth Sense. That movie was badass. Was you think they were going to come out with The Seventh Sense? <laughs> I hope not. You know what, Ace? You should open a voice academy like teach other people how to talk in ways. I'd love if every person I talk to sounded like you. It'd be a lot better dealing with like the cable company. If everybody sounded badass. Oh, speaking of cable, I got Jake for you, Ace, and okay. I got to run. And uh, Michael Sonny with an O always tells this some perfect. She if I remember how. Okay. Did, <laughs> did you hear the CEO of Big Cable died yesterday? No. No. Yeah, his funeral's next Tuesday. Some time between the hours of 9 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. The cable guy. Hey, Chick, can I get a tape of that? Done. Right, okay. Thank you, Donnie. Well, that was very helpful. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.